वन लीज इज लूजरिंग नो रियल हैप्पीनेस वी शुड नॉट वेस्ट टाइम एट वंस यू शुड सच एन ए बोनाफाइड गुरु एंड विगेन हरी भजन सो ही लेफ्ट हिज हाउस वॉज किंग ऑफ भारत भारत वर्ष वेरी पीक नो एटाइजमेंट ही लेफ्ट देयर चैटमेंट ऑफ हिज वाइफ चिल्ड्रंस एंड किंगडम एज वी थिंग went to forest and he was doing well bhajan but he was very attached to a deer as you heard he was so attached that when the deer mixed in his group and run away in forest with all deer he bank became like mad totally was remembering where he is, what will be perhaps any tiger or any lion can eat him and thinking in the night death came and he was remembering that deer deer and he became in next life deer what is the purpose he bharat mahara at the death time he is remembering dear he became dear so we we will remember krishna and our swajatiya asai snigdha any prajavasi like gopi rupmanjari we were chanting at that time we were thinking remembering oh we must be gopi must be good if bhakt maharaj ji can by remembering at the time of death and he became dear why not other so our goswami especially rup goswami has given ashtakadi leela chintan so that in whole life if he will remember then at the time of death it may be that it will come and he you will be there go to in the guidance of you so what we are doing now earning money mostly our life is going invested in that thing but what money will do will it give peace of life happiness of life nothing nothing so if bharat was attached to dear and he became dear if anyone is attached to any girl friend what will be he must be any lady next time and he will be attached to others so we should take leisure that as he left whole world all attachment all worldly desire and when but he still he was attached to that dear child eh? because he was he had attended bhav rati premanku so only three life life loss but what to us all kinds of anarth are there even nishtha has not come ruchi has not come who will save us hmm? if anyone as he told the slow rahu ganay tat tapasa ane jati na je ichya nirvapana grihatva mahat paad rajo vise kambhat guru de mahat rup gasnami and others if they are our saver we think i cannot save myself so my guru dev will save us vaishna will save us then we can be <coughs> protected 
अदरवाइज और लाइफ विल बी रोइंग इट हैज बीन टोल दो मांड कृष्ण प्रेम भगवत प्रेम पारम परम भवसारसाधु रिमेम्बर ऑल विज दी दो जुबान टू है कृष्ण प्रेम एनी वन कैन एट से महत्पाद जो विषेक सो दी Attachment to ladies and ladies attachment attachment to male both are same. Be careful. <laughs> you are you in married life? Okay. One doing with your husband, family, also doing that. But if you are brahmachari, sannyasi, be very careful. Otherwise, in a moment, Maya will come and eat you. <laughs> so we should remember. Still, there is time. We, what we have done, mistake, we should try to correct. Because when faith will come. When he will come, we don't know. In a moment, he can come. So there are so many teachings in Bhat Maharaj. So we should try to. What was favorable for Bharat? He was doing. What was not favorable? He used to reject very strong. We should try to do like that. Now. प्रहलाद महाराज चल नो प्रहलाद महाराज पहला प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी है ठाकुर एज रे प्रहलाद चरित्र हंड्रेड एट टाइम्स ही वॉज भक्त ही वॉज भक्त All should follow his instruction. Allah Maharaj, hey, tall. Then I got his phone in China. Tell me, please, sir, his phone number. Amani na, mana de na, Krishna niya sada. If you want to be Krishna, you have to follow the life of Allah Maharaj. Shiman, Damodar, you should begin. <coughs> we should try to listen very carefully and to follow. <coughs> Don't be attached to anyone. Attachment to Krishna. Attachment to Radha Krishna and Mahaprabhu. Om Gyan Jnananda Sagaran Janasvatya. चक्षुरमित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीकृष्णचंद्र प्रभु निनंद श्रीवैतगढ़ शिवसती गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफ माय मिलियंस ऑफ धन्यवाद प्रणाम स्वीर गुरुपाद परमा विष्णुपाद श्री श्रीमद भक्त नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज The Lord is here, my Shiksha Gurus, also present, Sri Nandi Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming. It's a great good fortune we get the chance to hear of the glories of Sri Pralad Maharaj. The teachings of Sri Pralad Maharaj are like a column, like a very strong foundation by which we can make a very high palace of seva to Sri Radha and Krishna. Pralad Maharaj's instructions are like a bath of cool water upon the mind. If we can follow just one drop of the teachings of Pralad Maharaj, then our bhajan can be completely successful. Sri Pralad Maharaj taught that even despite achieving perfection, many many obstacles may be there in spiritual life, but we should not leave our bhajan. 
We should not pray to Krishna for the removal of miseries, because miseries are there even in the lives of perfected souls, like the Pandavas. Despite the presence of many, many obstacles, many, many difficulties, great devotees like Prahlad Maharaj and the Pandavas and the Gopis never gave up their Hari Bhajan. We can learn this from the teachings of Sri Prahlad Maharaj. Sri Prahlad Maharaj's father was an incarnation of Vijay. He took birth as Hirani Kasipu. So he was a very great demon. Even though he had many good qualities, he was against the service of Sri Vishnu. They have all his good qualities are about as useful as an ornament upon a dead body. A prana seva deha sa loka eva ranjana. Hirani Kasipu performed austerities to please Lord Brahma. Hirani Kasipu had a desire to become immortal. Therefore, after such austerities, he was standing on his toes with his hands in the air. All his body had been eaten by termites, and he had become covered by the dirt of the termites. And one fire was coming from his head. Lord Brahma came and said, I have no bother. I have never seen anyone perform austerities like you. What benediction do you want? At that time, Hirani Kasipu Maharaj said, Brahmaji, you are like Bhagawan. Please give me the benediction of immortality. But Lord Brahma said, Son, I don't have that in me. Then how I can give it to you? Take another benediction. So Hirani Kasipu took many benedictions in one breath. I should not be killed in the daytime, should not be killed in the nighttime, I should not be killed on the ground, should not be killed in the air, should not be killed inside, should not be killed outside, should not be killed by anything living or dead, should not be killed by any weapons, should not be killed in 12 months of the year. In one long breath he asked for many, many benedictions, and Brahma said, Tatastu, Tatastu, Mayat be. So, Hirani Kasipu, his wife Kayadu, she had, he had, Three, children, three sons, the youngest of which was Prahlad, four sons, the youngest of which was Prahlad Maharaj. See, Prahlad Maharaj, when Hirani Kasipu was performing austeri austerities in the higher planets, that time the demigods came and captured Kayadu, who was pregnant with Prahlad Maharaj in the womb. They thought this is the seed of a big demon, therefore if we can cut the nip, if we, how do you say? We can nip it in the bud. Then we'll save ourselves a lot of trouble. They went to kill Prahlad in the womb. That time, Sinara Guni came. Guru Mahārāj says, who will protect us? Only the Vaishnavas will protect us. Nara Muni said to Indradev, don't kill him. He is not a demon. He is a great bhakti, a great bhakti of Lord Narayan. Therefore, Nara Muni took the wife of Rani Kasipu to his ashram. And there for 60,000 years, he spoke Harikatha to the wife of Rani Kasipu. And Prahlad Maharaj, even as a baby in the womb, for 60,000 years, he got a chance to hear instructions on the service of Krishna from the pure devotee. Therefore, when he was born, he was born like Prahlad Maharaj, pure devotee. Like any father, Hirani Kasipu wanted a good education for his son. Therefore, he sent him to Gurukul. These days, our Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj said, our education system is like a slaughterhouse. Because not teaching anything, only ignorance. No knowledge of the soul, nothing about what is eternal, nothing of any value. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj, even though he went to Gurukul, and the hearing the materialistic instructions of his son Donamaka, Prahlad Maharaj never paid any attention. He cheated them. And when he came back from holidays, his father, out of great affection, took young Prahladji on his lap, and with his heart melting actually, and smelling the head of Prahlad Maharaj and tears from his eyes, he asked, my dear son, what was the best thing that you learned in Gurukul? So see, Prahlad Maharaj taught us, if we want to give instruction on Harikata, we must be near Apeksh, completely without any self-interest. Prahlad Maharaj spoke the truth to his father, even though that truth was a little bit unpalatable for him. If we think I should flatter my audience, then I can get a nice donation, I can get this or that, this is the wrong teaching. Srila Saraswati Thakur said, if we flatter the audience just for our own benefit, we'll become atheists and derive, derail from the Vedic path. Then Prahlad Maharaj, very politely, but very directly, he said to his father, that sadhu manya sujavaja dehinam savikisamat diyat asakrihat hipatva patam griyam andakupam vano katam yad harimasriyata. Very politely, but very cleverly, Prahlad Maharaj said, oh, best of the demons, and Rani Kasipu was very happy. <laughs> oh, best of the demons, the best thing that I learned 
was that this deep, dark well called family life is full of suffering. And the persons in that well, they are asakriha, because of accepting what is temporary and always meditating upon what is temporary, their lives are full of suffering. If we meditate and develop something for, if we develop attachment for something which is temporary, then either we must be separated from that or that object will be separated from us. Therefore, we'll feel so much anxiety and suffering. Therefore, Palama said, one who's fallen into this dark well called materialistic life, especially family life, his life is full of suffering because he's always meditating on that which is temporary. Therefore, one should leave everything and take shelter of the forest. That means one must leave household life and take shelter in Vrindavan, especially Yadam Harimasriyeta, and then one can take shelter of the Supreme Lord. Guru Mahaj explains really nicely what is called that dark, deep well. Imagine someone is being chased by a tiger and he's running, running, and he sees a very nice patch of grass, he goes to step on it and he falls in. This is like Guru Mahaj saying, the affection we have for the opposite sex. Like a dry well is covered by grass, it looks nice and soft, but when you step on it, I and he suffer. <laughs> Therefore that man, he fell down the dry well, and after falling, he reached and grasped onto one branch. Then the tiger was looking down, mm, roaring. The man was afraid. He looked down and saw there were many snakes hissing, waiting for him to fall, to finish. That time he was hanging on the branch, what to do, where to go? But the good times are only beginning. Two rats, one black rat and one right, white rat, were chewing on the branch. And also above there was one wasp uh, bee's nest. And because he was shaking the bee's nest, hundreds of bees were stinging him in all parts of his body. So he was crying, ah, but he could not go down, could not go up. But in the middle of such a terrible situation, because of the shaking of the branch, some honey was coming and he was... <laughs> some honey was falling on his tongue. And he was thinking, ah, nectar. <laughs> so Prahlad Maharaj said, this is called material life. Guruji explains, we are just like that. Death is all around us. Like Bharat Maharaj, he completely forgot about his death, but death never forgot about Bharat Maharaj. It says, when we are born, death is born with us. Therefore, our situation is just like that. We are forgetting that any moment we can die. What are we expecting from that? That branch, that is one's lifespan, and that is being chewed by a black rat and a white rat. That means day and night, day and night. Time is taking away our lifespan. In the eleventh canto of Bhagavatam, the Navi Yogendra said, What is knowledge? Knowledge means to see everything in this universe is in the snake, in the mouth of the snake called time. Everything will be destroyed. That vision is called knowledge. So, down with the snakes means death, up with death, he, his, our lifespan is being taken day and night by the rats and the bees biting us and the millions of miseries we experience. The tax man, the policeman, the next door neighbors, the children, all biting, biting, biting. In the middle of such a terrible situation, that time some drop of honey comes and from that we forget everything. That drop of honey is a momentary satisfaction we feel in sex happiness. That five minutes of happiness results unlimited suffering. Well, Guru Mahaj said, we suffer day and night, and we come home, and what happens? The children run up, oh, Baba, how was your day? Give me ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that little bit of happiness we experience, we are so much foolish, we forget our precarious situation in this world, and unlimited suffering. Therefore, Prahlad Mahaj said, Father, you should leave this miserable family life, and take shelter in Vrindavan, the shelter of Sri Hari, that means Sri Krishna. And maybe Hirani Kasubu became, he didn't take it seriously. Ha, ah, he said, thus the kid's intelligence is spoiled by the enemy. Because small words coming from a small boy, Hirani Kasubu didn't take it that much seriously, he just laughed. So, that time he returned him to the Gurukul. That time the teachers, Sanda and Amarika, Sanda means darkness, no? Anda. Amarka means one is a bull. Huh? Sanda is a bull. Because a bull is very foolish, 
even though he eats so much and so, he's so strong, as soon as he sees a cow, he loses all his intelligence and it runs behind him. And Guru Mahal said, when they pass stool, it's like a jet stream. So they have so much good there and so they have no intelligence at all. Therefore, and the other Guru, he was even worse off. He's called Amarika, that means darkness. Because even though he had so much so-called knowledge of the scripture, he could not see the soul or the Supreme Lord Krishna, therefore he was completely blind. So the teachers asked, Oh Prahlad, how do you learn such knowledge? How do you develop attraction to this Vishnu? We never taught you anything like that. That time Prahlad Maharaj said, I cannot explain, but just like a magnet is attracted to iron, in the same way my mind is spontaneously attracted to the pastimes of Sri Hari. So Prahlad Maharaj went back to school, as I <laughs> pretended to learn, but he never really took the materialistic instructions of his teachers to his heart, only he cheated them externally. Next time when he came back to his father, his father gave him another chance. Oh my dear boy, tell me, what was a nice thing you learned in school? That time Prahlad Maharaj said, Shravanam, Kitanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Achanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanam, Vedanam, Itipam, Sakita, Vishnu, Bhaktishtan, Navalakshanam, Kriti, Bhagati, Ada, Manite, Arta, Uttamam. How people want to serve God, but they don't know how. If we want to serve Krishna, we should serve Him in the correct way. For example, if I ask someone, or Guru Maharaj asks someone, can I have an orange juice? And someone brings a beer. This is not fulfilling the desire of the person who should be served, therefore it cannot be called service. Therefore, independent efforts to serve God without direction of the saints and the scriptures is useless. Therefore, how to serve God, Krishna, there is nine ways. Shravanam, hearing, Shravanam, Kirtanam, chanting the holy name and repeating the instructions we've heard from the scriptures and the Guru. Vishnu Smaranam, always thinking of the Lord. Padasevanam, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, or using our feet in the service of the Lord by doing tours of parikrams of the holy places. Archanam, worshipping the Lord in the temple. Vandanam, offering prayers. Dasyam, becoming the servant of Krishna. Sakyam, becoming the friend of Krishna. And Atman and Vedanam. So these are called Navavida Bhakti, nine ways to serve Krishna. But there's a catch. One must, apita, one means one must completely offer oneself to who? Vishnu. Vishnu in Sanskrit is Puro. One must offer oneself to the two gods. And one may become astonished how there can be two gods. I thought there was only one. Then they'll be fighting amongst each other. Therefore, there are two forms of the Supreme Lord in this world. One is, of course, Krishna himself, Visay Vigraha, the Supreme Lord as the enjoyer. And the other form of the Supreme Lord in this world is called Asray Bhagavan, Sevak Bhagavan, or the pure devotee. Therefore, one name we give for the spiritual master is Vishnupad. He is called Vishnupad because he is the direct manifestation of the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord in this world. You cannot go to Krishna directly. One should go to the feet of Krishna in this world, which is Guru Pada Padma. Under the guidance and taking shelter of the spiritual master, one should perform these nine types of seva towards the Supreme Lord Krishna. Prahlad Maharaj said, this is called knowledge, nothing else can be called knowledge. Then he gave, Prahlad Maharaj gave more instructions. <coughs> Matiyana Krishna order to kill him, but he could not. Then, by the advice of Sandamarthi, again, Prahlad Maharaj was sent to his school. Thank you. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Urvina Maha So Sri Prahlad Maharaj, he had declared to his father what the topmost uh, activity for the human being is, and that is to do pure bhakti 
Navavidha Bhakti performed the nine limbs of Bhakti to Sri Vishnu. And when Hiranyakashipu heard this suggestion from Prahlad Maharaj, he became very, very infuriated. Because Hiranyakashipu was the greatest, most powerful, demoniac, materialistic person in the entire universe. And his whole goal of life was to enjoy sense gratification. And he wanted that his son will also come in his dynasty and be the same materialistic, fruitive worker uh, with no other goal than to eat, drink, be merry, for tomorrow we die. So Hiranyakashipu, when he understood that his son had now been completely contaminated, uh, as he thought, by this bogus conception that we should worship Vishnu. Who is Vishnu to Hiranyakashipu? Vishnu was his greatest enemy. Materialistic persons, they consider that God is their greatest enemy. Why? Because they think they are all powerful and they will conquer death, as Hiranyakashipu also thought. We heard in the beginning of the narration that he wanted to become immortal. <clears throat> and in Hiranyakashipu's case, his own brother, Hiranyaksha, had been killed by Vishnu. And now, his son, his little son, is suggesting to him that he should also perform bhakti to Vishnu. So he became very infuriated. And in so many ways, he tried to kill Prahlad Maharaj. This material Krishna came before this. Yes. So, as he was expressing his dissatisfaction to Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj continued to explain his position to his father, and he also tried to enlighten his father. He tried to explain to him, my dear king of the demons, Matirna Krishne Paratak Svatova Mito Bipadyeta Griha Vrakanam Adam to go beer Vishatam to Vishram Punak Punak Charvita Charvananam Matirna Krishne Paratak Svatova Oh, if a person is determined in this world that he will be a gross materialistic, materialistic sense enjoyer then it is never possible for that person to become Krishna conscious. Matirna Krishne Paratak Svatova Neither by good instructions from others, neither by his own endeavors, neither by having joint conferences and discussing the subject matter. It is not possible for such a person because Adam to Gobir Vishatam to Mishram His senses are uncontrolled. Adam to Gobir and therefore, Vishatam to Mishram, he's descending down to the lowest position in this material world, he's going to hellish suffering. Punak punak charvita charvanana. Again and again, he is attempting to enjoy this material happiness, which is simply like chewing something that has already been chewed and rejected, and again you put it in your mouth and you try to chew it. So Prahlad Maharaj told this to his father, and he told him that the materialistic persons in this world, they don't know what actually is their real svartagati, their self-interest. Nate vidu svartagatim hi vishnum durashaya ye bahirartamani na te pishadvanga urudhamni badha. He said that the materialistic persons, they don't know that their ultimate Svartagati, self-interest of their soul, is to worship Vishnu, to surrender to the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Durashaya ye bahirartamanina. And because they do not understand this fact, they're always situated uh, trying to enjoy this world with great hope. Durashaya. They have this hope that someday I will be able to successfully enjoy in this world, but it is always defeated. And their uh, whole existence is completely bound by these material desires, as if their very uh, hands and arms and legs are being bound by the ropes of the material nature. 
So how can such a materialistic person in such a predicament escape from this? It is only possible in one way, Prahlad Maharaj told his father. He said, Naisham Matistavad Urukramangrim Spritjarta Narto Upagamam Yadarta Mahiyasam Padarajo Vishekam Nishkinchananam Navranita Yavat. Oh, my dear father, if anyone wants to become free from all these anartas, all these contaminations of material, materialistic tendencies and desires in this world, there is only one way. Mahiyasam padarajo abhishekam. He must take abhishek. He must bathe himself in the padaraja, in the dust from the lotus feet of the pure devotee, nishkinjanana, who has no material desires or attachments in this world and is completely surrendered to the Supreme Lord. When Hiranyakashipu heard this suggestion from Prahlad Maharaj, his eyebrows began to uh, be furled very tightly in a very angry expression. And now he came to his conclusion. He said, just as when a limb of the body becomes diseased and is going to threaten the health of the rest of the body, then that limb must be cut off. Now I can understand that this person, this very low class person, he has become my enemy. He has become contaminated by this enemy. The Vaishnavas, somehow or other, they have contaminated this person. So therefore, I must remove him. I must eliminate him. And, and Hirani Kashipu, now he gave instructions to his servants that you should take this person, this rascal, and you should try to uh, inflict all kinds of weapons and punishment upon him and do away with him for good. So they took him away and they tried many different methods. First of all, they tried to kill him and cut him with swords and sharp knives and weapons, tried to pierce his body. But Sri Kalad Maharaj, he was a completely surrendered soul. He was completely 100% Sharanagata to the lotus feet of Krishna. And therefore he simply folded his hands and prayed to Krishna. And he was completely peaceful and happy that he was under the loving protection of Krishna. And in that condition, these weapons and everything could not even touch his body at all. They tried then to take Prahlad Maharaj and throw him underneath the feet of an elephant and have him crushed. But when they put him there, Krishna protected him and he inspired the elephant that he should not step on him and nothing resulted from that. They took Prahlad, they tried to put him in a pit of snakes, poisonous snakes. And when they put him in there, all the snakes, they did not even try to bite him. Then they took Prahlad and took him up to a huge mountain cliff and they tried to hurl him off of this mountain cliff. And Prahlad Maharaj sailed down from the top of the mountain and he landed very safely on the ground, nothing, no injury. Then they even tried to give him poison, forcing him to drink poison. Prahlad Maharaj very willingly accepted and he drank the poison, no result. Now. After trying every conceivable method, Hiranyakashipu, he became a little bit worried. He began to think, what is this? What kind of power does this son of so-called son of mine have? There is nothing I can do. And he started to become quite depressed, quite frustrated. And then his teachers, Shanda and Amarka, they assured him, they told him, Oh, our dear king, please, you know, don't worry about the current situation. I'm sure your son is just young. And right now he may be in this mentality. But we, we think that in course of time, he, this will pass. And then he will become normal again. So better that we should take him again and we should try to instruct him. So then Hirani Kashipu, he again agreed. And the two teachers, they brought Prahlad Maharaj to the school where the other sons of the demons of the demoniac dynasties, they were all in the same school with Prahlad Maharaj. 
So now Prahlad Maharaj was again going to this school and the teachers were attempting to teach all the materialistic subject matters that, <coughs> that a sense enjoyer must know in this world in order to attain what they consider perfection, simply giving satisfaction to the gross material body. So they taught so many different subjects for some time. And then one day, oh, uh, the teachers had to go out of the room for some reason. And then the children were in the room alone. And at that time, when the teacher went out of the room, naturally what do children usually do? When the cats away, the mice will play. So now they wanted to play games and they wanted to be frivolous and to enjoy and all of this. But they noticed that Prahlad Maharaj was not interested. Oh, come on, Prahlad, Prahlad, play with us, play with us. And then Prahlad Maharaj, he told them, uh, he began to instruct them that, my dear classmates, uh, this is not the purpose of life. You know that all of us, we are very young right now, only five years old. But how long do we actually have to live in this life? You think that you have a very long period of time, 100 years to live perhaps, but out of that 100 years, already you're going to spend 50 of them sleeping, wasting the entire half of your life. And then out of that other half, 50 years, you may, you're going to spend 10 years in your frivolous childhood. <clears throat> then you're going to spend another 10 years uh, doing some kind of study so that you can have an occupation and then another 10 years of your life will be spent at the end of your life in old age where your body is racked with pains and problems and diseases and you cannot do proper bhajan so actually how much time do you really have in this human form of life maybe you have 10 or 20 years in which you can do bhajan so therefore komaram acharit pragya dharman bhagavatan iha durlabha manusam janma tadapyap artadam that this human form of life is durlabha janma it is very rare to attain this human form of life after millions and millions of lifetimes in this material world wandering from one species to another finally attaining the human form it is not to be wasted therefore from the time of komara five years old you must begin this process don't waste any time komara acharit pragya dharman bhagavataniha bhagavat dharma service to the supreme personality of god it must begin now otherwise your human life may be wasted and in this way prahlad maharaj began to instruct his friends and they wondered prahlad how do you know all this wonderful knowledge thank you so, all of you are listening. The life history and teachings of Prahlad Maharaj. And the demonic friend of Prahlad Maharaj asked Prahlad, O oh Prahlad, from where you have learned all this thing? Our teacher, Sandra and Anokka, never taught all these things. Only they taught us how our ultimate goal is to make money. Money is money brighter than sun sunny, tester than sweet honey. <laughs> if you have money, then you will, you will be cunny. So you have learned all these things. From where you have learned all these things? After do bhajan. Then Prahlad Maharaj told his, the life history of his mother, when he was in the home of his mother and he learned everything, being in the home of his mother in the ashram of Narada Rishi. Then the demonic friend asked, O oh, Prahlad Maharaj, O oh, Prahlad, can you teach us how we can do bhajan? What is the simplest method to do bhajan? You are in your mother's womb 60,000 years. Not possible for us to do so much austerity. Please tell us the simple way. What is the simple way? Then Prahlad Maharaj replied, Guru Sustru Sayaya Bhakta Sarvala Bhar Bhanena Cha Sangyana Sadhu Bhakta Namishwara Radhanena Cha 
पलंगाय जोर प्लीज लिसन केअरफुली गुरु शुश्रूषया भक्त हिअर टू सर्व युअर गुरुदेव हाव विथ ग्रेट डिव्होशन इफ यू आर नॉट सर्व युअर गुरुदेव विथ ग्रेट डिव्होशन देन नॉट पॉसिबल एट ऑल जस्ट लाइक बिफोर युअर भर फ्रॉम श्री पाद दामोदर महाराज देर आर टू भगवान वन आश्रय भगवान अदर विशाल भगवान ऑल दो और अल्टीमेट गोल टू सर्व विशाल भगवान बट देर इज वन कंडीशन वर्क Had to go through proper channel, had to be initiated by a bona fide guru dev. So guru sushru se aar bhakta. Later on, in this kali yuga, our Siladas Goswami Pal told in Mano Siksha, Guru Goshe Gostha Va Isu. In this work, he first also narrated about Guru's name, not to Krishna first. So we have about Guru. Guru must be bona fide guru. सो गुरु शुश्रूषया भक्त मोर भर सर्व लाभारोपण न चॉट एव यू गेन हेव टू ऑफर टू गुरुदेव नॉट ए थिंग ओ इफ आई ऑफर टू गुरुदेव देन हाउ आई कैन मेंटेन माय लाइफ सो व्हाट यू डू व्हाट डू यू नो वी मस्ट हैव टू ऑफर व्हाट वी हैव व्हाट इट पोसेस दिस बॉडी एंड माइंड आर रिलेटेड टू बॉडी एंड माइंड So our Acharya told, "Manasa deha deha jo kichu mod or pilu tu apade nanda kisor or nanda kisor, which I possess by my by bo- body by mind, everything I offer to you. Then what will be result? Dai mo mo galat tu aur pada borane. If you do so, if you surrender completely the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev, then you have no more responsibility." Then Krishna will be bound to bestow His mercy. It mentions in Skritya in Adi Puran that if you serve Krishna direct, Siddhi Bhavati Vaneti Sangsar Achyuta Sevinam Nisham Sarasthi Tadbhakta Kori Charya Ratatmanam. If you serve Krishna direct, you may get perfection or not. There is a lot of doubt. But if you serve this great devotee, Guru Parvatma. Then perfection under your hand, you know, inside your palm. Not can check this. So Guru Sushru Sai Abhakta Sarvala Bhar Pani Na Cha. Moro Bhar Sangya Na Sadhu Bhakta Nam Ista Dada Dhani Na Cha. How can I understand? Is Guna Pai Guru or not? Then what to do? You must have to go through Bosna Bos. Bosna will tell you is Guna Pai Guru or not. Because it mentioned in scriptures before initiation. Guru will examine his disciple for one year, and disciple also examine his guru one year. Guru can examine his disciple in a moment, but for disciple, not possible to judge his guru perfect or not. How to do? Have to go to proper channel. Have to go to Bosna Bos. The Sangya Na Sadhu Bhakta Nam. Bosna will tell you that he is bona fide guru or not. What is the symptom of bona fide guru then? Thus, why? तस्मा गुरु प्रपदेत जिज्ञासु से उत्तम सर्वे परिचय स्नातम ब्रह्मणुपमाश्रयम बोनाफाइट गुरुदेव दर इज टू सिम्टम वन प्राइमरी सिम्टम नॉट द सेकेंडरी सिम्टम टू वेरी हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्राइमरी सिम्टम फॉर सेकेंडरी सिम्टम सर्वे परिचय स्नातम ही मस्ट बी क्वालिफाइड सर्वे च निष्णातम Must be qualified on scriptures. If devotee has any doubt, he can plus out by quoted from scripture. Oh, you can contact me. I will reply you in six months. Not like this. He has question. This devotee has question. Disciple, Guru Parvati Maha can immediate remove the doubt. And Brahman Upa Samasrayam and must be detached from material world. This material world may be male or female. Both are hankering for different ways. For male, they are hankering for three W: women, oil, and wine. And female, men, marijuana, and money. If good like this, this is the bona fide guru there. So, and primary symptom. Parijan is not a man; he must be a realized soul. 
See, sitting with us, what is doing, how we can understand? In Guru Bhakti Krishna Nandaya Bhimahi, being with us, same time is serving Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna Nandaya means Sri Krishna Chaitanya, same time serving Sri Krishna and same time Sri Krishna no, Krishna plus Anandaya, Krishna Nandaya. Same time serving them, then how disciple can judge his Munafat Guru or not? So you have to go. Verse no verse. Sangir Sadhu Bhakta Nam Isharara Dhani Nacha Dhanili Prapa Isharara Dhana Prapar Bhajan Hearing this, all his friends become influenced and they start Kirtan. When they are doing Kirtan, all this sound vibration of the Kirtan went to Hiranakasipu. Hiranakasipu became very furious. Oh, what is going on? He came from the, his own palace and came to Gurukul and certainly here in the Kasip from Sandamarka, what is going on? Nonsense to hear? Sandamarka told, Oh Maharaj, we could not check for love. He spoiled himself and spoiled the whole our school boys. Then he noticed, Oh Prahlad, oh, where are you getting this power? Prahlad come and quite replied, Oh my dear father, from where are you getting your power? I am getting from same source. Why is your Bhagavan? How is he telling Vishnu, Vishnu? Prahlad Bhai replied, everywhere. Where is not, no here that there is no place that has business not there. He is all providing. Where is this? In this pillar? In this year? Yes, Ma Pita? Yes, Father, he is here, there, everywhere. Then how I cannot see him? Then Prahlad Bhai told, Andha pita sujata nahi hamme tumme khamba khalta me jahi khujo tahi ram. Oh, my dear father, you are spiritually blind, so you could not find him. So, what to say about here and there? He is inside you, inside me, inside this pillar, even inside your soul, everywhere. Really? Okay. Then he very strongly hit the pillar. Immediately the one rolling sound came. Neither man or not any man. Because he had benediction from Brahmaji. He will not be killed by any creature created by him. So this is not created by Brahmaji. And he came and there is some battle with, between Hiranyakasipu and Nishinadev. When Nishinadev grabbed him, all the members began to laugh, clap, oh now we are safe, we are safe. And sometimes Nishinadev make him some loose. All the videos, alas, 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 is to be there. After the Hindapur, Nishinadev is completely grabbed by Nishinadev and he tore by his, by his nails and take the intestine, put on his neck like a garland. The Brahmaji gave him many days and he will not die either day or night. So at that time, neither day nor night, you are dust time. Not any weapons, by nails. Not any month, it was Purushottam month. Not any year, it was leap year. Not created by Brahma. So, Nishinadev is Bhagavan. So, fulfilling all the benediction of Brahmaji and he killed Hiranyakasipu. After that, he is so furious, like his mad, his main thing is going to touch the sky. A flame is coming from that. And Brahmaji and other demigods, they request to Lakshmi Devi. Oh Lakshmi Devi, please go and satisfy your Prabhu. Devi, oh, my goodness, I never seen this stage. I cannot go to him. I cannot satisfy him. I never seen his form like this. Lakshmi Devi, down away. Brahmaji denied to go. All the demigods deny to go. Then Brahma told, Oh dear Prahlad, give to yourself, your Prabhu has appeared here. Please go and satisfy him. Prahlad Maharaj is very calm and quiet. He has no fear at all. Just like 
One lion killed it. He elephant, and every year full of blood. When he came back to his cave, he stopped, jumped on his neck, and lion move his tail and very calm and quiet, not make any harm for this baby. In the same way, Prahlad Maharaj went and took seat on his lap of him, Nishinadev, and Nishinadev caressing him, and told Prahlad, "Please excuse me, I became late. So." Please ask some benediction. Prabhupada and I told, I am not a businessman. I do not do any trade with you. That is, I worship you. I do your bhajan. I said, take benediction. I don't want. If I have any desire to for benediction, please remove this desire. He said, no. I, my darshan is infallible. Please ask benediction. Then Prabhupada and I told, my father done so many mischief for you. Please excuse him. Then the Singh Dev told, "Your father has been delivered already. Even if Vasna Uttam Vasna Kala made it dynasty, then is twenty one generation is delivered. If Muttam Vasna, then fourteen generation. If Konishta Vasna, then seven generation. So your father already delivered for this world. Don't worry. Please ask any other benediction." And Prahlad Maharaj told. Oh Prabhu, if you want to give, really give a benediction, I want only one benediction. The worldly people, being in this material world, forget you completely. The sufferings from many ways. I want to take the sufferings and I want to suffer life after life after life. And if I do any sukriti or good thing for you, please deliver them from this world. Here Nagasibu told, Oh Prahlad, you are winner, I am loser. I could not defeat you. But it is not possible. But yes, I am giving this benediction. Whoever discuss dialogue between yourself and myself, they must be delivered from this world. There is no doubt. By this way, Prahlad Maharaj gave this benediction. So our Parapad Guru Dev, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Swati Vasanth Thakur Prabhupada, he read this and gave class more than hundred eight times. Why? Because Nishkadev gave this benediction. So as In beginning of class, Sri Guru Dev has quoted this also. So we have to follow Prahlad Maharaj, be tolerant by Prahlad Maharaj, then we can advance in Krishna consciousness gradually. Sri Sanatana Goswami Pad has given example in Pre Bhagavata Nitam, Gani Bhakta Prahlad Maharaj, after that Suddha Bhakta Ambarish Maharaj, after that Prem Bhakta Hanuman Ji, after that Prem Premathur Bhakta, Prem Par Bhakta Pandavas. And Premadur Bhakta Uddhavas and Uddhav is praying to Braj Gopis Asam Ho Charan Ji Shamong Sen. And one that is desire will come to Sab Gopis under guidance of Guru Pad Padma and Krishna Bhakta Hari Krishna. Panchayat Bhakta 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 Hari Bol, Shri Gurudev has asked me to make an announcement about book distribution. Shri Gurudev has once said, actually he said many times in Florida and around the world that my life is writing. This is what Gurudev is dedicating the rest of his life to writing, to present the message of our Guru Varga, the message. That is presented in these books that we have printed. We have printed thousands and thousands of books: Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Bindu, Jaiva Dharma, many booklets, Gaudiya Gita Guruch, Way of Love, Secret Truths of the Undiscovered Self, Beyond Liberation, books that we could share with our friends, co-workers. Gauravani Kachari May, a very brand new book that will be coming to the U.S. in two months. I will be here in Badger. So Gurudev has dedicated his life to presenting these books, and as his disciples, now we have an opportunity to serve his heart. And so I would like to present to you, assembled Vaishnavas over here, an opportunity for everybody to engage in a service that is pure of bliss. To serve Gurudev directly, to engage in direct Guru Seva. I'll tell you personally, Gurudev has given me so much mercy. For trying to put together a book distribution program to share this enthusiasm with all the devotees, 
and he is what he is giving so much mercy to all the devotees over here in this assembly. Everybody over here can feel his love. And so why won't we just take what he's giving to us and share it with whoever's close to us, our family and friends, do small propaganda, whatever's natural to our own way, and we can now present his books. So now GVP has a new program. Actually, it's one year old, but Gurudev is personally subsidizing book distribution. So now all the books are at print cost. So a book like something this big, that's $10 retail, will go for print cost at $5. Or The Way of Love, which costs which is $2 retail or $5 will go for 25 cents if you buy in bulk. Or Gorvani Kacharine, $6 print cost, and it'll go retail $12, $15. So now all these books are at print cost. We have thousands and thousands of books. Now it is being waited for everybody. If you'd like to engage in direct Guru Seva, the opportunity is right there at the book table. So come back over there. There are many book packets. Everybody's taking a package. Um, I have another important announcement to make, Kriya Gurudev. Today there was a big materialist festival called Air and Sea Show in Fort Lauderdale. And at Fort Lauderdale, there was half a million people on the beach. Twenty-five of our devotees went to the beach, did Harinam Sankirtan, and distributed 200 books today. So this is the first festival in which we've actually done preaching work. And tomorrow again they are going to go out on Harinam Sankirtan and we will distribute Prashadam and more books at the big air and sea. Hare Krishna. Many devotees, they have requested to come and have Gurudev Darshan. Of course all of you are here having Gurudev Darshan. <laughs> and uh, we want to facilitate your desire and Unfortunately, we are in a situation where we cannot receive so many, otherwise it would be more easy. So in order to facilitate Darshan tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, we request all of you to assemble right here. Sit in groups, our lecture devotees one side, and then you can ask questions, and if you have anything which you want to present to Sri Gurudev, you can do that personally tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock right here. Hare Krishna, some more devotee, few more devotees requested for initiation, they arrived today. So for them, initially tomorrow in Gurudev apartment, 9 a.m. I have how many requested to all devotees, only who will take initiation, they will go there. Otherwise, the apartment owner makes so much complaint because a lot of devotees went today for initiation. And Higher side preference will be day after tomorrow, not today because tomorrow, because tomorrow will be another initiation. So we will come down here 10 a.m. So Grand Sajimani and other all Darshan will be here, not over there, only initiation there. Hare Krishna. 9.30 a.m. Please come, 15 minutes, whoever 9 a.m. can come for initiation. Oh, real quick, just, just want to let everybody know that also the G Clays, these are reproductions, fine art reproductions of Shamarani's art that is manifesting from Srila Gurudev's heart. These are being used as a fundraiser for Navadrip. Already they have funded around 15 to 20 percent of the Navadrip project, these G Clays. So if you'd like to participate and also Navadrip Dam Seva, you can go over there to the back table. There's a whole art table with G Clays posters where there's a whole number of fundraising going on. Also, there are some DVDs of Shula Gurudev's movies back there, too. Also, there's, there's a limited edition of these G. Clays, too. So. Also, Srimati Shamarani Didi, as she has done in some of our other festivals, on Monday, in the late morning class, 10.30 a.m. class, she's going to be presenting a very, very interesting slideshow of all the art 
telling so much of the history, how these uh, dozens and dozens of paintings were made by her under the direction of Srila Prabhupada and under the direction of Srila Gurudev. And there will also be a chance at that time for purchasing these original paintings, G clays. Hare Krishna. Krishna Govindi Govindi Gopala Krishna Govindi Gopala